Der Leutnant von Leuten befahl seinen Leuten nicht eher zu läuten, als der Leutnant von Leuten seinen Leuten das Leuten befahl. He's learning to talk, who's learning to talk? When you think about it, aren't we all just learning to talk? Oh my God, you're so right. It's the Learning to Talk Show. It's the show the people who have never learned a language that, oh, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can attack this and do it right and not be afraid. Who's your audience? My, my target audience was the ninth grade high school kid in America who is being forced to learn a language and doesn't think it's point, has a point or that it's possible or that it's fun. My God, that's the way to live. That's the way to feel yourself growing and making the most of it every day. Mm -hmm. I want to go abroad again and I want to learn another foreign language. I studied Spanish in school. And when it occurred to me how long I had spent in a Spanish classroom, uh, a thousand hours approximately, learning Spanish in school, and then not being able to speak Spanish, I found myself just horrified. I went to college. I studied mechanical engineering. At the university I went to, there was a very good, a very well-funded study abroad office. And I went and I... And I uh, and I got there and I couldn't understand anything anybody was saying. I took thermodynamics and mechanics of materials and dynamics in, in Spanish that year. And each of them had like two vorlesungen per week. And I would go and I found myself just electrified by the lectures because it was in Spanish and I found myself just like listening way 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 harder to these lectures and taking way better notes than I ever would have in English in America oh. because I wanted the Spanish to sink in and um, I was only there for five months but it was an amazing feeling of I could honestly say for the first time in my life I had this feeling of going to bed at night and knowing that I that I achieved something that day that I grew that day mm. like I could I could, I could, I could, almost, I could measure my improvement as a, as a Spanish speaker day mm. to day. I got started by, um, I just went to the library and I got, I looked at what they had in the foreign language shelf. Mm -hmm. It was a, a CD book companion package. I pretty quickly came up with a method for myself that proved very, very, very effective, which was, I listened to it. On my way in, on the car, and I was like, I don't know what these things, what these words are, but I repeated them. I just mm -hmm. repeated it instantly. I didn't read any instruction manual or anything. I just popped the CD in, and I listened. To it. it was like it was like Tag Steffi, and I was like, I press pause. I'd be like driving, Tag Steffi. It would be like Tag Steffi. Pause. Tag Steffi. Play. The gates. Pause. The gates. And I would I would basically just repeat exactly what they say until mm -hmm. I was convinced that the sound I was making was exactly the sound I was hearing. By the time I got to my destination, the, to the office, I already had m completely memorized this conversation in German. And as, I don't think I would have learned German as fast if I hadn't already learned Spanish. Mm -hmm. Not because it gave me a, not because it made me like a better language learner, but just because I knew how much richer my life will be after learning German because I knew how much richer my life is based on learning Spanish and how mm -hmm. fulfilling that learning in the country was for me. Well, my, my goal is to take away the requirement to have had learned another language um, yeah. for the confidence to learn a new language. Although it strikes me that you, you, seem, you seem to like a bit of a chance. To me, I think language learning will happen fastest as soon as it's secondary to another goal. Like If you want to learn Spanish to be able to speak Spanish, you're never going to learn Spanish. If you want to learn Spanish because you are desperately thirsty and the only people around here who could tell you where the water is can't understand English, then you will learn how to say I'm thirsty in Spanish. I think that if I ever felt a low, it was usually just for other reasons. Like I think the chemistry of a person's brain will shift in a lot of ways and you might blame it on your language failure why you feel depressed today. But it's probably not the case. There's a lot of things that you can't control, and um, as long as you just trust that it's all building, then that's good. It's always hard to judge your own progress because it's so microscopically incremental. 
you can't really see that you're improving because you are the one who did the improving. Mm. And um, but then if you meet someone new for the first time who hears that you've only been learning for a little while, they're going to be just blown away. Expecting a teacher will never help someone who doesn't really want to learn a language. And um, but a good teacher is without a doubt the greatest gift a person can have in life.